We got the, oh, I got to get unmuted. I'm unmuted. All right. We got to hit the got it. Big mute's going down. We got a lot going on and uh, we got more people joining in. If you're on YouTube and you're. John, you got to unmute. <laughs> Welcome to everybody on YouTube. If you uh, just joined in and it was kind of funny for a minute there, that's because again, we were getting ourselves set up with the live stream. We had to connect to the satellites in space so they could beam us down into all the homes all over the world that want to enjoy this workout and, and get an, on this. This is a kickoff workout for us. This is a Monday workout for most of us. Um, but if you're on YouTube, this could be any day of the week. Uh, we're going to do some exercises today with a resistance band. So if you have a resistance band, go ahead and get that handy. Uh, make sure you have your water handy. And let's also check on our audio. Ben, how are you liking the audio? Does it sound good? Yes. It's All right, good. great. That's Carrie too. We got Carrie and Ben in the co-host seats. We have team leaders who are on here, and I think we might even get a, a guest appearance. Possibly, we're going to be on the lookout for Coach Emily joining in. And you can see right here, I got my California Highway Patrol Junior Officer badge. Remember, I was at the Abilities Expo this past weekend, introducing everybody to the TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app and introducing them to our breathing motto which I'll tell you what, that was a big hit. So speaking of the breather model, let's check in with Ben and Carrie and see, do we have somebody to kick us off on this uh, band class workout? Uh, ben? You wanna bring, you wanna bring Bernie up for the, the breather model? Yeah. Kick us off? She's ready. All right, she was looking ready. And uh, Bernie? Go ahead and have a sip of water before. Oh, really, Ben? Interesting. Interesting here. What? Really? Huh. There we go. You're in now. We got Ben set up. All right, everybody. We had a technical difficulty there. And uh, not a problem at all. But I now accidentally we're... left the meeting when we started streaming. Okay. No problem. No problem at all. Bernie's having a sip of water. Everybody have a sip of water with her. And, um if you don't know the words to this breathing model, let me show you something. I got it here on the back of my t-shirt. So let's go, let's see if I can turn around here. I can kneel down. Can you see that, Ben? Does that show up? Yes, it, it, John, stand up. Not all of it is showing. If I, stand, if I come right here? Yes, that's better. All right, Bernie, I'm gonna sit like this and let's do mm -hmm. that breathing model. Five, four, three, two, one. Bin the middle. Bin the back. Bin the half. Bin the start. Bin in your back. Now the work. Bin your power. So you reach your goal. Nice job. Great job, Bernie. And I'll be back when that was excellent. Bernie's going to be coming back up maybe today, maybe this week. We're going to be having team leadership going on all week long. And if you want to be a team leader, if that's something you're interested in, well, then you got to let us know. Just like Bernie said earlier, and just like Byron and Nick and everybody, we know they are our team leaders. But if you are thinking, you know, I want to be a team leader, I want to share exercises. Maybe I learned them on the app or maybe it's an exercise that you invented. Well, we would want to see that exercise. We would want to share that. So let us know if you want to be a team leader and we'll try maybe this week to get you to be a team leader. Caitlin's got her resistance band. She's ready to go. I like it. Let's start off instead of with our neck. Let's do something with the resistance band and let's just do a stretch. Let's just make sure our resistance bands are safe and we're going to do kind of a stretch test and just very carefully kind of stretch the resistance band and kind of look at it a little bit and make sure that we don't see any holes or any tears in the resistance band. Some resistance bands, when they get older, they start to wear out and we wanna switch them out. They're not expensive and I'm just pulling this apart. Remember, if I grab it real close, it's gonna be a tougher pull. If I hold it further apart, it's gonna be an easier pull. So again, it's something that we're gonna be using today for our workout. I just checked out my resistance band, looks good and it passes the test. I'm gonna put it down for now. We're gonna get our neck warming up and we're gonna get back to using that in just a few moments. 
Let me scoot back here just a little bit. I am doing these exercises sitting down. I'm sitting down in kind of like a cafeteria style chair. Um, I don't have armrests. You might have armrests if you're sitting down. So we'll talk about some ways we'll be able to move around those armrests too. But first with the neck, we got no problems here. Let's go side to side and up and down. Let's do a four exercise combo. And I'm gonna start by looking over here. I'm looking over here towards these headphones. I got the headphones over here and a guitar. Let's go ahead and bring, bringing my chin now to the other side, looking over here at the record player. Let's bring my head into the middle and then bringing it up. I'm looking up at the record, holding my head up and then bring my head down, looking down at the cassette tapes. Let's go back over to the right side. So it's moving over to the right side. Nice, just like that. Let's go over to the left side. Let's go up and then let's go down. Let's do that two more times. Let's go right side with our chin. Let's go left side with our chin. Let's go up with our chin. And then let's go down with our chin. Let's go one more time. We're getting four moves in here. Right side. Left side. Going up and going down. Three, two, and one. All right. Now let's go ahead. And if you think about it, the U shape is kind of a combo too. It's got the down and up, but it also has the across the bottom. So let's practice that. Starting up here, I'm looking up at those headphones again, bringing my chin down, bringing my chin against my chest, going against my chest all the way to the other side. And now I'm looking right back up here, looking up here at the record player. Now let's go ahead and bring it on down again, bringing the chin down. Going back across this way and look at how slow I'm going. If you're doing it right now and you can't see me, go ahead and take a moment and look at how slow we're moving our head. We're not doing this one fast. This is a nice slow movement. Let's do one more going this way and one more going the other way. This is a slow one. This is a great exercise. Again, getting our head moving in multiple directions, getting our neck warmed up. All right, next one's my favorite, giraffe head turtle neck. So I'm going to go a little sideways here. You're going to see, remember, shoulders back. I'm trying to get my chin out over my legs. And I'm going to reach it out, giraffe neck, stretching all these muscles in the top of my shoulders and my neck, connecting my head to my shoulders. And then let's bring it back, bringing that head back, still trying to keep myself tall. If you're standing up, stand tall. Let's go out with the giraffe again. Out with the giraffe neck, three, two, one. Bring it back with the turtleneck. Three, two, one. Going out with the giraffe neck. Three, two, one. Bringing it in with the turtleneck. Three, two, one. Let's go one more time. Out with the giraffe neck. Three, two, one. And bring it back with the turtleneck right here. Three, two, and one. Nice. One more for our neck, and then we'll have a water break. The next one's the ear lift. We got some music in the picture here. And so let's go ahead and pretend that we got to get our ear a little closer to listen. So I'm going to get in my seat. I'm going to get myself in a good posture here with my, my core is going to be engaged. My shoulders and body is going to be upright. And then I'm just going to pretend there's a string attached. And there you go. Nice job, Caitlin. Nice job at Salpizio Center. I think I just saw somebody at Salpizio Center. They almost floated up into the ceiling. Let's switch off to the side. Somebody else saw that too. Aren't we talking about that? We saw that right there. Imagine you are getting pulled up but by the ear and it's gonna pull on your neck. It's gonna stretch your neck and your shoulder and then bring right back into the middle and take a, take a deep breath. Let everything relax. Let's go back with our left ear. Getting pulled up. To, there she goes again, so Pizio Center all the way up. I love it, nice job. There we go and back into the middle. And one more time with this here, we're gonna bring it on up and then we're gonna have a water break. Getting the ear lift, feeling it in the side of our neck right here. Three, two, and one, and relax. Nice job. Excellent job. All right, let's have a sip of water, everybody. Nick, what record do you think this is up right here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the record. Nick, do you know? I don't think, Nick, I don't think we know. And when we don't know the answer, sometimes we go, I don't know. We do the shoulder shrug. But that's also working out your trapezius. So let's move on from our neck down to our shoulders. And we're going to start with the muscle 
that goes across the top of my back. And it also goes up and down from kind of my skull down into my middle back where my rhomboids are. And it kind of makes a T. That's part of the reason they might give it that name, trapezius. And again, going across from the shoulders, it acts as a bridge between our shoulders, between our left side and right side. It's a very important muscle. Sounds like it's got a very important role. Let's get it exercising. So let's go ahead and bring that trapezius up, bring the shoulders up. I got them both holding up. I'm going to go three, two, one. Let's go ahead and bring them down. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and do three circles. Go three, two, and one. Now let's do three alternate. So we're going to go three, two, one. Let's try that again. So this is a combo. Here we go. Bringing them up. Three, two, one. Bringing them down. Three, two, one. Moving them in a circle. Three, two, one. Doing a combo lift. Three, two, one with the alternating. Let's try it again one more time. It's tricky, but it, it's okay if it's tricky because you're getting that connection with those muscles. And sometimes it's tricky and then you figure it out and it'll never be tricky again. Here we go. Let's go up. Three, two, one. Bringing it down. Three, two, one. Going in circles. Three, two. Nice job. There you go. One. And then the alternator going. Three, two, one. Nice job, everybody. Good stuff. Let's have another sip of water. Let's keep the water in our bodies to keep it hydrated. I was a little concerned today that I wasn't going to have much of a voice because I was at the trade show and we were doing a lot of talking. And when we're talking that much, that's a workout for your vocal cords. And that can tire them out. And sometimes they will need a day or two to recover because you can use that muscle too much. You can talk too much. And I was getting real close to that. Um, but I got it. I think I'm OK. And I also have some vitamin C I put in my water over here. And that's something when I do like a sweet drink, I don't drink sodas. No way. But I do like to drink sometimes the vitamin C. And some of those electrolytes, they'll give me my sweet drink. Uh, you'll feel that you got what you wanted. All right, we got more folks, folks joining us in on Zoom. Again, if you're on YouTube and you want to join on Zoom, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, but then let us know that you want to join us on the Zoom. We'll get you connected. We'll get you on here working out with us live. Let's go ahead and get those elbows moving here. So I'm going to be bringing one elbow up, kind of up here by the headphones, and then I can bring this other one up, up here by the record player. So let's work on doing an alternating elbow lift. So let's go just one side at a time going up and then the other side goes up. So it's just one at a time. We're just lifting one elbow up. We're getting our shoulder engaged. We're getting that trapezius is engaged. We're also getting muscles in your chest now. They're gonna be getting engaged and also some muscles in your core. They're gonna be getting engaged. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're just one at a time. We're going one, and we, you know we're going to do something more than this, but just keep going with just one at a time. Get a good pattern down. Get it to where it's so easy. It's just a piece of cake. And then now let's go ahead and get one up, and now we're going to switch them out. So one goes up, the other one goes down. And now it's starting to get tricky. So one up, one down. There we go. Let's go for about 10 of these. One up and down. And you got to think about both sides now moving at the same time. And try to keep it real, real even if you can. Try to keep it to where if you were balancing something, you know, it might it might be sliding down and then, you know, it's going to slide off this way or sliding this way. Here we go. Let's go for two more of these. Try it out, everybody. It's tough. There you go. Adriana Riviera at the Arc. Keep it going. Nice job. Excellent stuff. Byron, you got this one going, too. And let's hold it up here. Three, two, one. And water break. That was good. That was a good one. And again, I'm feeling this now more in my arms and starting to get my shoulders involved. John, that was a good one. That was tricky. It's tricky. The first like four, and but I find it's it's kind of one of those ways when I like to talk about working out patterns. Once you get it into a pattern, what's nice and with that one too is your shoulder blades. They're getting a lot of, of work out of that. And that's what we want to do. We're going to get our shoulder blades really going with the band too. And a lot of those exercises, we'll be able to do a imagination. So if you don't have the band, you can. Bernie's calling for a second water break. I agree. Bernie, let's do that. I'm going to go with my vitamin C. 
Oh, I should keep on rhyming right there, shouldn't I? I love to rhyme when a good rhyme starts, starts going. But let's get our arms going here. Let's get our arms moving around. And instead of the arm circle to start off with, I want to go with a low to high reach. And so what I want to do is I'm going to start with my right hand. I'm going to do this with one hand and I'm going to reach kind of down low and then I'm just going to be reaching up high. So just on one side, right hand, I'm going up and down. I'm going to do about four or five of these. Yeah, Nick, I think so. I think that's a good idea. Nick, let's have you come up after this exercise. Maybe you can uh, lead us with some core workouts. Does that sound good? All right, going down and up with that one hand. There you go, Byron. Nice job. Byron's got a good reach, kind of leaning down, reach up. Let's switch over to the other arm. Let's go ahead. And now if the other arm's a little different than the, the right side, if your left side, the right side, a little different, that's okay. You don't have to lean down. You can just kind of reach down. Did you see the difference there? Watch this one. This one I'm leaning over, and that's good reaching up but watch this one i'm gonna just reach down look at that my whole all these muscles just stretch and then they pull back up and my hat almost disappeared that's kind of neat my sheriff's badge is trying to make my hat disappear all right so we got our arms going in the up and down position now let's go ahead and think about going across the body so i'm going to reach now with my right hand down over here to my my right side and then we're going to reach down with the left hand over down to the left side. So we're reaching across our body. It's hard to see with me here because I'm kind of going out of the picture. But I think you got it. I can see a lot of folks doing it here. If you want, you can reach and twist across the front. And then we're also going to twist up across this way and do a reach here. So we we did reaching where we stayed kind of in line with our body, just reaching down and up. Now we're doing a bit of a twist reach where we're reaching out. And then again, you can even kind of reach down and just kind of a little bit of a reach down, not too far down, just a little bit of a stretch. Let's go three, two, and one. Let's do one more for our arms and we're gonna try out, similar to how we did with our shoulders, let's go with one arm up, one arm down, and then we're gonna switch them at the same time. So there'll be a moment when both hands are passing each other and one arm up, one arm down. So here we go. So switching out. Let's go. Two. And try to really have them. Try to have them even. I, think, I don't think I got this one too good. I think that might have been okay. One up, one down. One up, one down. I'm trying to get my, my hands to pass right here in front of my body. One up, one down. One up, one down. There we go. Let's go for about four more of these. Nice job, Deidre. There you go. Great stuff. One arm goes up, the other arm goes down, and that's going to stretch out our muscles. It's going to give us flexibility, and it's going to help with mobility. Three, two, one, and water break. Let's have a sip of water, everybody. I think we have Nick. He's going to show us some core exercises. He's coming up next. Nick, I'm thinking maybe two, maybe three exercises that are going to get our core working out. And... Um, Kind of really get those muscles prepared to do even more work. You ready, Nick? Nick looks ready. I like it. He's got that True Fit Adaptive Fitness t-shirt on. Nick, I'm going to get you the shirts here with the Breathe motto on the back. I'll tell you what. It's going to be fun. When you got somebody behind you and you can hear them reading it, it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Nick's going to get the spotlight. Here we go, Nick. Take it away. But I will. Who they do that and our own pitch we do. We would we will fight that out. Fight that day. Five seconds. I want to wait one and wait. D do in one. Do it by body to in one. Relax. Relax. Are we doing one side at a time, Nick? Yeah. Fight then. Okay. I don't fight then. Put them fight then. All right, let's go. Three, 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 and one. Three, by body, two, and one. Stick it out. Shake it out. Nice. Three, two, and one. Three, by body, two, and one. Stick it out. There you go. Shake it off. 
Shake it off with the squeeze. I'm going to join you up here, Nick. We're going to do this. So we're squeezing our arm against our side for our armpit. Go, Nick. Do it, do it, and one. Squeeze, bye, buddy. Do it, and one. Shake it off. Imagine if you had a ketchup bottle or mustard and you can't get it out, and you might put it right here. What are you going to do? You do it. Please. There you go. You done, done. Three. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch it on over. Let this arm shake it on out. Remember, we're working out our armpits here. Very important part of our body. There's a lot of muscle in there. We got it. We got to treat it right. Let's squeeze this, squeeze this other arm. Uh, let's go in three, two, one, and squeeze. Five, Five four, three, three two, and one. one. Let's move it around. Nick, you take the next one. Okay. And three, two, and one, and three. Bye, buddy. Two, and one. You done, done. All right, nice. We're moving it around. We're taking turns. And like you saw right there, I was trying to see if I could poke my finger through, but there was no way. Those muscles were holding tight. Let's go. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Can you get through? No, you can't. Three, three, two, one, and moving it. Three, two, one, and moving it. Let's go one more, Nick. Nick had the towel. Yeah. Were you squeezing the towel, Nick? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to find something that feels good. And three, two, and one. Three, bye, buddy, two, and one. I got a bottle of Icy Hot, some of that stuff. This is called Body Heat for aloe, aloe vera. If I squeeze this. We don't want it to, that's what we're going for here. We're getting that squeezed. We're going for two now, Nick? Yeah. All right, here we go. Moving both arms. Both arms, you can move elbows. You can move your arms around. It's just free move. And then we squeeze. And we get strong. And we hold it. It's an isometric hold. You can do it. You can feel those muscles in the side of your body. You feel them. They're getting strong. Three, two, one. And relax. Let's move them around again. Let's do two more, Nick. Two more. Yeah. Movies. And then let's go to the plank. Let's see you get a good plank. Oh, squeeze. Nick's going to squeeze. Nick's squeezing. I'm squeezing. Who's ever seen those like robot, those like plastic robot fighters, you know, where their arms are like this and they just, you know, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. They're a game back in the back in the 50s. And relax. Let's move them around. Let's go one more, Nick. I'm going to reach all the way up and move my arms around over my head. And then we're going to do the opposite of this. The opposite of this is what? A squeeze. That's right. There we go. Squeeze it. I'm squeezing up five. Uh, one. Nice job. I can feel that, Nick. Every every muscle from here all the way through here and up into my arm. I mean, they feel great. Now the squeeze that I'm going to be doing next. I'm in the seated position for this exercise. I'm going to be doing an elbow lift, but now I'm going to squeeze behind my belly button. I'm not going to squeeze my armpits as much as I'm going to squeeze my core muscles. Nick, are you going to do a plank? Oh, yeah. If anybody wants to join Nick and do a plank, now's the time. Go ahead and get down on the ground. Get in that elbow position, and you can do the plank on your knees or on your feet. Nick, are you going to do it on your knees or your feet? On oh, my knee. All right. Are you ready? You got to back, yeah. back up just a little bit so we can see you. There you go, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There you go, I can see you now. All right, you're going to extend those feet out? Yeah. All right, here we go. How long are you going to go for? Um, as long as you can? Yeah. Woo, all right, Nick, here we go. I'll count, and you just stay up and keep your butt down. Here we go, three, two, one, Nick's up. There we go. Elbows are up. We're squeezing behind our core. Keep it going. And six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Squeeze. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Squeeze. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Squeeze. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Go, Nick. Woo. Nice job. Nice job. I'm going to say that was about 40. That was a good job. You got one more for us? One more core exercise? 
They do the teapot. Okay, teapot over my head. Reach. Twist, reach, and Debbie pot. Twist, yeah. reach, and a coffee pot. Those three. How many yeah. times are you doing? Three times each. Five times each. Five times each. All right, here we go. Nick's kicking off the week with fives today. Let's do it. And we do it one, 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 and one, two, and two, and two. Proper counting. Three, and three, and three. Four, and four, and four. Five, five. And by do it. Switching it up. Great job at the Sopizio Center. They are working out on a Monday. There you go, Nick. He's got us going teacup. Twist reach. Coffee pop. There's three. Three and three. Four. Four and four. One more. Five. Five and five. Nice job, Nick. Nick's finishing off. Nick's doing what's called an encore in, in music. And that's when the band keeps on playing. Keep it going, Nick. Twist reach. Coffee pot, coffee pot, water break. He's like, wait up. I got to make some tea. I got to make the teapot. Great job, Nick. Great job, Nick, with the leadership, helping us out, getting our core activated, getting our bodies warmed up, ready for more exercise. You know, we're ready to keep on warming up, keep our bodies going. The next thing we're going to do, uh, if you're standing up, go ahead and you might want to find a chair or something that you can uh, hold on to while you're standing up. This is going to be the leg swing. So I know my friend Bernie, she likes to use a, just a, a regular chair. You can hold on to a chair or, uh, or anything that's going to help give you some balance. We just want to swing those legs. Or if you're sitting down, we want to find a way to where we can swing our arms. So one way you can swing is going across your body and having them nice and relaxed. Another way if you're sitting down too is you could do one arm at a time and you might be able to lean over to the side and just let that arm just free hang down. Just let it hang down. And you want to let these muscles relax to where you're going to, it's going to feel like a stretch in the arm. And as it's hanging down, it's just going to swing back and forth. Another way you can do it sitting down is you might be able to lean forward. And I'm just going to swing my arm around kind of in a circle right in front of my body. If you're standing up, you could do this too. You could kind of lean forward. And kind of Byron gives us this move sometimes with the sandbag. We kind of lean forward and let it, let it swing around. So I'm doing an arm circle like this here, but I'm doing it down in between my legs. And I'm doing it over here to the side of my body, or I may be swinging over to the side of my body. So let's go for a couple more swings. Let's do about 10 swings. I'm having to do the high up swing because I have a desk right here. You might be doing the high up swing just like that. We don't want to go too high up over our head because then it's going to be hard for it to be just a nice relaxed movement. We want this to be relaxed, as relaxed as can be. Let's go. There we go. Five. Nice, just real relaxed with the arms. There you go, Bridget's got it. She's got it going. Nick's got it. He's doing the leg swing. There you go, Nick. Keep it relaxed. Go three, two, and one. Great job. Great job. All right, next one we're going to do, if you're standing up for this, it's going to be the high knee lift. If we're sitting down, we're going to go for the high elbow. So let's go for a high elbow. Let's go ahead and give it a tap, too. That always gives us maybe a good indicator. Plus, it gets our other arm going to be working with our body. So Nick, we're going to go high knee lift. You got it. Let's go to 20. Here we go. One and two, three, trying to bring that elbow up for stretching the core. Five, and then getting the tap. Six, seven. There you go, Nick. Eight, nine. Nick's doing a knee tap. 10, elbow tap. 11, 12. Keep it going, everybody. 13. There you go, Bernie. 14. Knee tap or elbow tap, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, let's have a sip of water. We're going to do our breath hold. And then we're going to do some resistance band exercises. So we're going to do, I'm going to try to show maybe three 
that um, are kind of variations of exercises on the app. These will be variations you can do if you're using the band and you're by yourself. Um, so we're going to talk about those in just a minute. So band's coming up next. But first, let's do that breath hold. I'm thinking we go for a good challenge. Nick, you got 39 seconds on the plank. Can you get 39 seconds on a breath hold? Dun, dun, dun. That's what Nick was doing in the studio. He'd go bump, bump, bump whenever we'd have something tough come up. So everybody who's watching, you don't have to necessarily try for the 39 seconds Nick's going to go for. I'm going to try it. We're going to try to hold our breath. All right. Remember, this isn't normal. Our bodies breathe normally, but holding our breath, we, we sometimes only do that sometimes when we're nervous and you don't even really realize it sometimes when you're holding your breath, right? You're kind of a surprise. You're like, wow, I've been holding my breath. But this is going to be intentional. This is going to be something that you're going to decide. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to hold my breath. I'm going to count on my hand. I'm going to do a fast count, but I'm still going to be counting to 39. Now let's go ahead and see if we can do it. So here comes Coach Emily. Let's go ahead and breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. We're going to relax. We're going to breathe in and hold. Relax and hold. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. That was 39. Wow. I saw a lot of folks make that breath hold. And I'll tell you what, that felt like a long time. Your mind might have actually started to have to really process, really start to think about the breath hold. Because remember, this is an intentional breath hold. This is something that you are doing using your mind and the communication that you have with your mind and your body. We breathe all the time but we don't hold our breath all the time. And Nick made it. He was going for that with his goal with that one. So again, great job to Nick. He I made it too, plank. Coach John. I saw that, man. I can tell. I, 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 you know, I think everybody can tell I made it too because you could tell I was really holding my breath. But Ben, I can see that. I think Bernie made it too. I can tell Bernie was up there. She was holding her breath. Everybody, let's have a sip of water. We're going to bring up a couple resistance band moves here. I did see we got Coach Emily. She's in the house. So we're gonna have some leadership coming from Coach Emily and um, let's have a sip of water. All right, with our first band exercise that we're gonna look at doing. Again, I have my resistance band right here and we're gonna look at, Nick's just putting in here that he's improving his balance. And you know what, Nick, I saw that on the knee tap. I could see like you're standing, when you're bringing up that knee now, you're still real strong. And you're not moving your body with the, the body feeling like it's going to fall over. The body, your body's just staying up nice and tall, nice and strong. You're like one of those, you know, who's seen the tall palm trees we have out here in California? Some are so tall and it's been all windy. Those palm trees are strong. They can flex and they can move. All right, so with this exercise, we're going to look at our tricep. And remember, the tricep extends the arm at the elbow. All right, it works with the shoulder, it works with the pecs, it works with the muscles of our back. But a lot of times when you think about the tricep, think about your elbow and elbow extension. So with this right here with the band, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the band back here against my body with my other hand. So I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna grab my band right here to where I can reach out and do an extension. Okay, so you can see here, I'm holding the band back here and just bringing my elbow out. I can bring this across my body. I can go over here to the side. I can kind of go up and bring that elbow going up this way. I could even, if I wanted to, bring this here and kind of bring it where I'm, again, working out my tricep. All of these movements are extending at the elbow. And so the band is going to give me that resistance. If I let go right here, it just wants to bring my hand and snap it back. If you need to loosen up a little bit on one side, you can, you can kind of relax that arm. But what I want you to try to do is hold it back. Let's switch over to the other side. If you don't have a band, I want you to hold one arm up against your chest. The other arm is going to be right next to it. And then you're just going to extend out and then come back and kind of touch your knuckles. 
and then bring it back out. And so you're going to have some accuracy there with that knuckle touch. And then you're extending out, but you're keeping this hand is just solid. It is not moving, going anywhere. I'm going to hold this band here and then I'm just going to extend out. And who saw that? Who saw Did anybody catch it? What's going on here, right? This your, is good. This your, band is, your band slipped. It didn't slip. What did it do? It, it didn't broke. slip. It broke. And that's a wonderful, I mean, we couldn't have planned that. We even checked out this band before, but look at this, everybody. The band broke. And so this is a great example. And let me explain something that was neat. And we're going to still get to keep doing this because it broke in a good way. But when you're using a band and you're using it like this by yourself, it's just like in, in, uh, in Boy Scouts huh. when I learned. Nice analogy there, Nick. Pop fly. Pop fly. You want to be moving this away, away from your body too. So a lot of the force on that was still moving away. But remember, these bands, they are stretchy bands that if, again, they get stretched too much, they're going to pop. And what I think happened there was I kind of had too much band and I just tried to make it stretch uh, and it just popped away right on me like that. So, you know, that's OK. I got this long piece of band, but it's something to look out for. And look at that. It, it broke pretty, pretty clean there. So it's always something to be thoughtful of. And again, when you inspect your bands, you want to check them to make sure if there is any, this is a pretty new band, um, if there's any damage to those bands. So remember that exercise, we were working our tricep. Let's go ahead and do an exercise for working out on our biceps. So on this exercise here, I'm going to hold the band away from my body over here, and I'm going to pull the band in right here to my shoulder. So I have one arm. Here we go, all the way out here by the record player. I'm holding this arm out. So I have an extension here. I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to bring it back kind of back here towards my chin, towards my cheek. So again, this is an exercise that's going to work my bicep. It's going to work my shoulder. Wherever I hold this combination, it doesn't really matter. Even if I hold it up and kind of pull it, pull it down, I'm still going to be engaging that bicep to bend the elbow and to bring my hand closer to my body. Remember, I talk about the biceps, their job is for bear hugs because bear hugs are where we're the strongest when we want to grab something and hug it and bring it closer to my body. Now, if I wanted to switch over to the side, you can see here, I'm just kind of wrapping the band around my hand here. That's going to keep it, they give me a good grip on it. And again, I'm just going to bend my elbow through here. So one arm is straight, one arm is bending. If you don't have a band, again, we're going to bring our hands together, trying to find the angle. I'm going to bring one arm in. One arm out, bring those hands, bringing them back together, almost like I'm fist bumping on top of my other hand. Let's go ahead and do about 10 of these. And we're going to get, we're working out our bicep with the resistance band. And again, this is if you're by yourself and if you can't get it down under your feet, this is a way that, again, I'm working out both arms at the same time. And I'm going to be working out this arm, focusing on the shoulder and the bicep. This arm's focusing kind of on the shoulder and the tricep, but also the wrist and the elbow. Everything's got to keep it straight. Keep that arm straight. Nice. Let's go three more. Three, two, and one. All right. Let's have a water break. Um, we're going to do one more real quick. And this is just going to be with our pull apart exercise. So um, like how we pull the band apart, what we're going to do is just pull it in three main directions. So we're going to start. I might do it more than three. Let's see. I'm getting creative. We might go across our body with the pull apart. Then we're going to go maybe up and down where the right arm goes up. Then let's go up and down where the left arm goes up. Then let's go up over our head and pull it apart. And then let's bring it back down. So let's add that in. So let's go across the chest. Let's go one up, one down. Let's go one up, one down. Let's go up over our head and then back down in front. So going across the front. One up, one down. There you go, Nick. One up, one down. And then over our head. Let's do two more of these. Across the chest. One up, one down. And even with no band, this is going to get those rhomboids going. This is going to get those shoulder blades moving. It's going to get your deltoids moving. And you're also going to, again, working out your triceps, working out your bicep. Let's go one more for good measure. One across the chest. One up, one down. The other one up and down. Going over our head, let's hold it. Three, two, and one. Nice. Feel like I'm like a um, hang glider on that exercise. 
All right, everybody, let's take a deep breath. Let's have a sip of water. Let's check the time. And yeah, um, 140 already. Wow, as far as time goes. We are cruising along through this workout. And again, we got a lot of our friends here. Coach Emily's in the house. Sandy's in the house. I got my mom's in the workout. Marilyn's here. Raya here in the house. Hey, Raya. We got Alicia in the house. Carl. We got a lot of great friends at the Sopizio Center. And I've seen Caitlin and Lorraine. They've been doing a great workout. Deidre's been working out. Bridget, Bernie, Carrie, Nick, everybody. All right. Well, let's go ahead and... What I'm thinking is let's bring up Coach Emily and let's have her maybe share with us um, some some information and maybe some exercises. I want to know how her her uh, conference went. I'm curious about the conference. Coach Emily, how was your conference? Last time we saw you, you were at a conference. Hey there. Yeah, I was. I was in Charleston, South Carolina, and it went really well. I think I might have talked to you guys right after my presentation or before. Um, so I was feeling a little nervous and excited, yeah, it was but after, it went you joined us right after. Oh, yes. Okay, good. So you saw me on that side of being relieved that it was <laughs> over, but excited to share that information. So it was really, really exciting um, to be a part of it. And there were different guest speakers. Um, Tem Temple Grandin was there and other wow. self advocates. So Absolutely. I learned a lot um, from being there. And now I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. Where in the world is Coach Emily? Right. Um, so now I am seeing some friends and I'm doing some work here in Asheville. So excited. And that's a great thing about how we can virtually come together um, and we can meet wherever we are. So good to see everybody. And if you are new to me as one of the coaches, I'll just say that um, I really like to uh, bring different yoga and breathing practices to the True Fit community. So you're welcome to join my channel um, where I update it with different, um, different routines, workouts each week. So please consider joining my channel and happy um, Coach John for being with you guys today. And I'd love to do some chair yoga and then at the end, just kind of remind people of that great technique we learned last time that I had a little backwards, but the five, four, three, two, one. So we're going to do that again, because as you know, um, the more you practice something, the more comfortable you get with it and the, the more results you can see. So I think for this month, we can really focus on that five, four, three, two, one exercise. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Let's do it. Okay. So to get started, and I know you guys have already been doing some great breath work, before we do some yoga stretches, let's connect with our breath. So take your hands and place them on your belly if you can. And I want you to close your eyes or look down at the floor as you notice your breath in your body. And the reason we have our hands on our belly is because I invite you to see if you can breathe so deep that you can feel your belly fill up like there's a balloon inside of your belly fill your belly with air so we're taking nice deep breaths breathing filling up your belly it might be fun to think about if there was a balloon in your stomach what color would it be maybe it's your favorite color and let's just take three more deep breaths breathing so deep that we're imagining like we're breathing in and filling a belly our balloon belly with air last breath into your belly and then from there i want you to take your hands and place them over your heart and as you continue with that deep breath i want you to connect to your heart and maybe set a goal for your day or it could be for your week whether that's to feel calm or to feel happy or just anything that you need to hear, any kind of reminder or something that you're hoping for in this week or today. Good job, everybody. And then from there, take your hands and place them on top of your thighs. Maybe tap out your legs. It's a little cold where I am, so maybe if I start to tap them out, they'll warm up a little bit. 
and from here, let your, if you're tapping your legs, let your hands relax and let's just start to move in a seated cat cow. So inhaling and exhaling, bringing your spine forward, opening up through your chest and breathing out as you round back. Everyone's doing a great job and really let your breath guide your movement. So listen for that breath and move with your breath, inhaling forward, exhaling back. As always with yoga, I do invite you, if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. And that just helps you to really kind of connect with how it feels on the inside, as opposed to maybe what it looks like on the outside. So if it helps you, you can always close your eyes. And if not, that's okay too. We're gonna do two more, just like this. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, last one. After your last one, return to the center and take a big breath in. And just like you did earlier, hold your breath in. So inhale, big breath. Hold it. And then exhale, sigh out your mouth like a dragon breathing out of your mouth fire. From there, we're going to do a couple of more stretches together. Tap out your shoulders. And we're gonna do some helicopter breaths and keep warming up our spine. So inhale to the left, exhale to the right. So inhale, exhale. I'm on a rolly chair, so this one is kind of fun. I'm really moving with it, but just move with your helicopter breath. Inhale, exhale. Warming up our spine. Great job, everybody. Keep moving. And you keep moving and I'm gonna give us a countdown. We're gonna do this for five more seconds. So keep moving with your breath for five, four, three, two, and one. Return to the center, keep your arms where they are. If you can, take a big inhale, hold your breath, exhale, sigh, let your breath go. Still holding your hands where they are. This time, inhale, lift your elbows up to the sky. Big breath in. And exhale, sigh, and let your arms fall back to the side. All right. So for our final stretch, before I, I remind you guys of the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's do one that we just posted on the app. So let's start with our wrist circles. And on the app, I show you this with making fists, but you can also kind of uh, keep it loose if you want to kind of wiggle your fingers, breathing in, breathing out. Or if you like the way it feels better to make fists, you can do that too. Just breathing and really stretching out those wrists. Nice. And then from there, we're going to start to bring our elbows into it, inhaling and exhaling, moving your elbows. You can go in the same direction or you can switch it up, whatever feels good for your body. I know you guys probably talk about this a lot, but really you know best what your body needs, what your limits are. So just focusing in on yourself, breathing. And then from there, let's start to roll it into our shoulders. And then take it backwards. This is a fun one. All right. Good job, everybody. We'll do that for five more seconds. I'll do the countdown. Just focus on your breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake it out. Just one more. Woo, woo, shake, shake. Okay. So before we do the five, four, three, two, one, we'll just take three deep breaths and we'll lift our arms as we breathe up. So inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, sigh, and let your breath go. <sighs> Two more, just like that. Everyone's doing awesome. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, sigh, and let it go. <sighs> Last time, inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, let your arms float back down and let it go. Great. So hopefully that little kind of yoga uh, routine um, helped you to maybe feel a little bit even more warm than you already might be from doing your workout and helped you to kind of settle into your body by connecting to your breath. So as we talked about last week, 
a great practice to help us with mindfulness, which mindfulness is about helping us to be present in the moment and in a way that we feel like we can be relaxed and settled. And it just helps us to come into the moment that we're in and to help to regulate us if we might feel anxious or upset or maybe we're focused on something that happened in the past or we're nervous about the future. Mindfulness is a great way to just ground us in the here and now. And one way that we can connect um, to the, the present moment is through our senses. So this cool kind of technique where we go through our senses by using the five, four, three, two, one um, is a good way and something you can use at any time. So if you're out in a community or you're riding home on the bus, this is a great practice you can do to kind of regulate your nervous system and to just kind of settle into the moment. So when we did it last time, I kind of mixed up the order and it was a little challenging because we had to like taste four things and all that. So we're going to try it again. Um, and so let's all start with our five things that we can see. So looking around in your environment where you are right now, see five things. So it could be your friends on Zoom. It could be the, the pictures in the background. Just notice five things in your environment. I'm going to give my five examples. I see everybody on Zoom. I see a cool map um, of the mountains in front of me. There's a light a tissue box. I'm also seeing my cell phone. So just see five things in your environment. Good job. From there, four. Four things that we can feel. Uh, so looking around you, uh, maybe you can just kind of check out your environment and see four things you can feel right now. So my examples to share, I feel my really soft sweater. I feel my wood desk my computer, and my cold cup of water. All right, so we're now on to three. Three things that we can hear. So let's pay attention. Let's see three things we can hear right now. I can hear my own voice. Um, I can hear my computer. It's making a sound that maybe it needs a break. It's been working too hard today. And I can hear some footsteps upstairs. So three things you can hear. All right, now two. Two things that we can smell. This also, depending on where you are, can be easier or more tricky. I know if you are at a food court, you probably have lots of smells. Um, but let's do our best to see if there's two smells we can pick up on right now. OK. I can uh, smell my, my, my own scent, right? Maybe if you're working out, you can smell some of your, your natural scents there. And I can also kind of smell that fresh mountain air. So two things you can smell. And then lastly, and this is the one that we had a little mixed up before, is taste. Think, let's see if there's one thing you can taste. And I, I will recommend if you have your water nearby, maybe this is one we can all enjoy together. Mm. So yes, we can all enjoy a sip of water. So again, that's the five, four, three, two, and one. And what I'm going to do with Coach John is I'm going to make sure I have a, a visual that I can share that maybe we can post on our social media channel. Um, and it's a great printout if you want to remember what are those the five senses that we can work through to help us to be really present and to feel feel calm and connected in the moment. I love that. I think it's a, I think it's something we could do every day and mm -hmm. you can almost kind of do it. If your environment changes, then you could, when you get to the new environment, take that moment and do the five, four, three, two, one. Cause you know, in the morning you might be at home and then you might go to a program or you might go to a, a class, you might go to work and that might be somewhere where you can get tuned in. And then maybe after you're off work, maybe you're at a park or you're somewhere outdoors. You get tuned in and then maybe later on you're out, maybe you're having a dinner at a friend's house or hanging out at a restaurant. And that could be, and if you did that a couple times a day, imagine how many things you would smell and how mm -hmm. many things you could possibly, I, I did touch, I got to touch the band, which was rubber, the mm -hmm. my cup, which was plastic, my desk, which was wood, and then my shorts, which are fabric. 
So my brain's getting all four of those sensations as well. That's just a terrific exercise. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, thank you. So good to see everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And I'll tell you what, you got to check this out. We're going to send some of these your way, but this isn't the old True Fit Adaptive shirt. This is the new shirt. And we got the breathing motto on the back of the shirt now. And so we're going to be able to have people all over the place uh, enjoying that breathing motto on the East Coast. You're going to be standing in line somewhere and you're going to hear somebody. Um, they're going to be saying it behind you. And that, that happened to us at the trade show. That is so cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to represent it on the East Coast. Oh, Thanks, yes. Coach John. Absolutely. We got to remember everybody, no matter where you are, fitness is going to be something that we want to take seriously. We want it to be important, but we also want to have fun with it. And we want to be able to not always think that it's go, go, go. A lot of times with fitness and our wellness, it's about taking those times to reflect, to think about the things that we do have that we're grateful for. And then how can we move that and, and make progress in a safe way, in a way that's fun and inclusive, maybe also to our friends? Because just like, just like myself and just like all of you, as we get stronger, it makes us even more capable of helping others. And that's what's really great about fitness is it's not just for you. It's going to be for everyone around you is going to get the benefit of that. So again, big thank you to Coach Emily. Let's give Coach Emily a round of applause. We had Nick on here doing some team leadership. This has been a great workout. We still have just a couple moments to go. And so what I'm thinking we should do, and Bernie, tell me if you like this idea. But Bernie, remember when we did the split, we did we had you got to do your jumping jacks and then we did uh, the rest of it on Friday. Would you like to do that? Does that sound good, Bernie? To do, do, do your jumping jack? Let's get her unmuted. Let's check it out. What do you, what do you think about that, Bernie? Mm -hmm. I know Bernie really wanted to get a chance to do leadership. Do you want to do that, Bernie? Okay. We can finish it up next week then. How many jumping jacks would you like to do? Or, or would you like to do another exercise? We could. We have time for one exercise. Okay. 55. Okay. Sounds good. Let's take a deep breath, everybody. We want to get nice and relaxed. We're about to do a cardiovascular exercise. So this is going to be a change in things. So let's pay attention to how our body is going to change up between this moment now and in one minute from now when we finish those exercises. And remember the exercises that are on the app on Coach Emily's team. Those are going to help you if you need to wind down. That's going to help you to wind down after cardiovascular work. Let's do it, Bernie. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Here you go. All right. Bernie's on. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight, and nine, 10. Go, Bernie. 11, 12, 13. There you go. 14. Feel it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Arms up. 26, 27, 28. Keep it going. And 30, 31, 32. 33, go Bernie, 4, 35, 36, 37, 38, I'm feeling it, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Great job, Bernie. That was excellent. She's got her heartbeat going. Remember, if you want to check your heartbeat, you can put your hand right here. And you got to be kind of calm and still. And you're going to feel a little boom, boom. Sometimes you got to kind of search around for it a little bit. But you're going to feel that little boom, boom, boom. And remember, that's your heartbeat. If you wanted to, you could look at that heartbeat. I and you can feel it. And then you could count. Or you could look at a clock for 30 seconds or for one minute. And if you counted how many beats, Nick, He's beating 122. You would count and you would feel that 122 beats per minute. Great heartbeat, Nick. What a great job. Again, Nick with the leadership. Bernie, we're going to see you next week. 
That sounds great. And we're going to finish up on Bernie's workout. Remember, everybody, get on the TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app. Get on there. And when you go to your groups on your profile, you're going to see your groups. You're going to see Coach Emily's group. I know some of you have already done it. Go on there. Join that group. And she sent out that workout for last week. So some of you, I know that workout is still in your assignments because I was looking at it on the app. So if you go to your assignments, check it in there. You might have that workout from Coach Emily. Practice those exercises, especially right now. They'd be a great uh, exercise routine to kind of follow up with Bernie's cardiovascular workout. Then, Carrie, who do you think we got for the for the closing up? Should we? Um, I know Nick. I know Nick was asking. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nick was a leader today. He seems fitting that he will be up here and helping us out to close things off. And Nick, when you do this breathing motto, let's really let's really get in some nice, good, nice breaths. You know, I know you've been on the app with Coach Emily's exercises there. I know because you were sharing with us the elevator breath the other day as one of your ideas of an exercise to share with us. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited you're on that app, Nick. And again, your progress is outstanding, my friend. Go ahead and take it away. And by body two and one and breathe in the dirt. Breathe out the bed. Breathe in the heavy and breathe out the dead. Breathe in the bed. And we don't do it. And we didn't do it. Do you do it? You don't fuck. Yes. Oh my gosh, Nick, that was incredible. On the first one, I wasn't sure, but on the second one, I saw the balance. And on the third and fourth step up, Nick, that was incredible. Again, Nick was showing us a high knee balance step, giving himself a challenge, letting that breathing motto get into his muscles letting that breathing motto get into his body and give him that confidence to try to do an exercise that we know is challenging. But remember, when you have a challenging exercise or task, try some deep breaths. They work. All right, everybody on YouTube, like and